Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane. Today I'm doing a realistic rebuild of the New England Patriots and I'm very excited to be doing this team because Gronk's on the team. I love their weapons. They did draft Wurfs, which is going to be interesting, but not going to be a big game-changing draft pick in my opinion. We are going to have to work on the right side of the line. The left side is perfectly fine. And then on defense, I love Devin White. I love Barrett. I love their corners actually with Davis, Murphy, Bunting, and Dean. I love the drafting of Winfield. So let's just go see how it plays out. Let's go to playoffs. We made the playoffs in year one at nine and seven with a wild card spot. We'll play against the 10 and six Seahawks. The Saints 11 and five, Falcons seven and nine, and the Panthers six and 10. Brady 4,200 yards, 37 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Not his best year, but that's not really saying much. Jones 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns, Vaughn with four. Receiving Godwin 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns, Evans 934 with six. Gronk 694, four touchdowns, Miller with eight. Kind of coming out of nowhere with that. On defense, David 113 tackles. Sack totals eight for Sue, six for Barrett, five for Vita Vey. Nope, did not want to click on Vita Vey. Interceptions, two for Murphy Bunting, and a few ones to go around. Yearly Awards, Lamar Jackson with the MVP. Breeze is up there. No, Brady Mayfield at 10. Coach of the year, he could be up here. No Bruce Arians. NFC Offensive Play of the Year. There's Brady at six. Matt Ryan's up there. Foles, Goff, Prescott. Defensive Play of the Year, Shaq Mason. Or Shaq, Shaq, Shaq Mason. We made the playoffs in year one going nine and seven with a wild card spot. We'll play against the 10 and six Seahawks. The Saints 11 and five. Falcons seven and nine. And the Panthers six and 10. I feel like the Panthers are going to be very good very soon. Brady, 4,200 yards, 37 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Not his best year. Jones, 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Oh, I should say, by the way, I lowered Brady's age to 31, so he still regresses, but he doesn't retire. We'll make him retire after two years. Godwin, 1,000 yards, 7 touchdowns. Evans, 934 with 6. Grog, 694, 4 touchdowns. Miller, coming out of nowhere with 8 touchdowns. On defense, David, 113 tackles. Sack totals, 8 for Sue, 6 for Barrett, 5 for Vita Vey. Interceptions, 2 for Murphy Bunting, and a lot of ones to go around. Yearly Awards, where is Brady going to be in the MVP race? Lamar Jackson with another MVP. No Brady. Coach of the Air, Bruce Arians. Nope. Uh, we want NFC Offensive Player of the Air. Elliott's going to win it. Brady at six. Defensive Player, Shaq Thompson. No Buccaneers. Offensive Rookie, probably nothing. Miller's up there at nine. Defensive Rookie, Nothing. Now, they drafted Tristan Wirfs, so I'm not really too concerned. There's no offensive, defensive rookie of the year. But Wirfs got four XPs up to an 81 overall. Gone with with two. Evans with one. Gronk didn't get any. I probably should have put him up to at least start development, right? Not a big deal. But Devin White has five. Whitehead has two. Winfield has three. Murphy Bunting with three as well. Can we beat the 10-6 and six Seattle Seahawks? Get to the divisional round of the playoffs. We can now against the 12-4 and four Cowboys. This is going to be a tough game to win. Yeah. We lost by three, though, so not the end of the world. Let's take a quick look at that, then go find out who's going to win the Super Bowl. 29-26 to 26 to Dak Prescott. Brady, 286, three touchdowns. Prescott, 251, one touchdown, two interceptions. Elliott, 107, three touchdowns. A beast. Receiving Miller, 97 yards. Evans, three touchdowns. Charles Clay with a touchdown. Didn't even know he was on Dallas, to be honest. And the 49ers dominated the Ravens 49-21. to Wow. Now, who's going to be a free agent? Barrett's going to come back. Pierre Paul, I'll let him go at this point. Everyone else, I'm not too concerned about it. Let's see. What does he want? Probably going to have to go up a little bit of money just to make sure he comes back. So, three years, 8-5. Really? Well, how's the franchise tag sound? So, do we have any money left? I mean, it doesn't really even matter for year one. We do have a ton of money, though. We have the 25th overall draft pick. And I really just want to work on the right side of the line, I believe. I mean, we're going to see what's there. But I believe our linebackers are good to go, even though there is a speed rusher in McCain. Ooh. Ooh. Those both look, they both look really good. Like, oh, what is going on right now? Early first. Where's Barker? Early first. Fourth in the bench press. Eighth in the bench press. So Barker is going to be my pick, but I have to look at Travis. Late first. Let's go with Devon Barker. 79 overall, hidden development. 89 strength, 86 run block, 78 pass block. Now Sue is getting up there in age, so let's take Ladarius Larson. 
He's a 69 overall normal development. 61 power moves, 79 finesse, 80 speed, 84 acceleration. Heading into the year, we're an 84 overall team, 88 offense, 80 defense. The offense looks the same aside from Barker, so nothing to really talk about there. And then on defense, don't really think anything changed. Sue's up to superstar development, which I suppose is good. But I think we're in pretty good shape. We still need an outside. Oh, actually, why is Dave? Oh, he's our middle linebacker. I was going to say, why is he the backup left outside linebacker? But I think we'll be good to go. Let's go to the midseason mark. At the midseason mark, we're in first place at 5-1-1. One, one. The Saints are 4-3. Falcons 4-4. Four, and, four, and The Panthers 1-6. Let's see who's going to be a free agent. That looks like Chris Godwin, who's definitely coming back. Barrett, I want to sign long term. David can more than likely go. OJ Howard, I feel like at some point we have to make Gronk retire. I don't know if it's going to be after this year or next year. I'm still undecided about Brady, even though I said two years, but... Realistically, the first year in this isn't next year in real life. I know it's confusing, but I might make Brady go an extra year and Gronk go an extra year. So I think I might let OJ Howard just walk. I don't know. We'll, we'll think about it. Let's see. Godwin. Yeah, we're making Godwin come back. We have plenty of money. This will be easy. We made the playoffs and got a first round bye. We went 12-3-1. Saints and Falcons 9-7 and, and the Panthers 7-9. Look at the stats. Brady, 4,100 yards, 33 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Okay. Jones, 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns. Vaughn with 9. Receiving Evans, 1,200 yards, 13 touchdowns. Godwin, 886 with 3. Howard, 749 with 7. Gronk, 577 with 4. Jones with 5. Miller with 2. On defense, David, 122 tackles. White, 107. Sack totals, 13 for Barrett, 9.5 for Vay, 6 for Sue, 5 for Golston. Interceptions, three for Davis, two for Whitehead, and a few ones to go around. The yearly awards. What do we have? Andrew Luck, God. Ah, oh, I forgot to take him out of this. That's so disappointing. Let's see. Any Tom Brady. No coach of the year, Bruce Arians. Okay. NFC Offensive Player of the Year. Brady at number seven. Defensive Player of the Year, Shaquille Barrett. I was very surprised to see that. Offensive Rookie, we have Johnson at five. Defensive rookie, we have Brewer at three, we have Wake at five, we have Larson at number eight. Let's see what Barker has for development on the offensive line. Star development, but four XP points, gets him up to an 83. Worfs will be an 83 as well. On defense, uh, basically nothing here, not that that's too surprising. What about Larson? He has four. That's all right. Can we beat the 9-7 and seven Atlanta Falcons, make it to the NFC Championship game? Yes, we can. Now, can we beat the Seahawks, get to the Super Bowl? No, so it's Pat Seahawks. Come on. How do you rob me from that? I know the Pats have Andrew Luck, but still, you don't know, take that away from me. The Pats lost to the Seahawks 42-21. to I suppose that's a rematch as well. But come on. Pats, Buccaneers with Brady it would still be Belichick at that point. Ah, oh, that's so disappointing. We lost 24-21. to Brady, 247, two touchdowns. Wilson, three touchdowns, one interception. Let's see what we have for rushing. Carson, 75 yards, touchdown for Vaughn. Receiving Evans, 94 yards. Metcalf, two touchdowns. OJ Howard with one. And we have one for Penny and one for Cameron Bray. Now, for free agents, I'm still going to let OJ Howard walk. Levante David can walk. I do want Justin Evans back, though. He's a good, solid backup. He wanted more salary. Here you go, buddy. Welcome back. Now, we're going to let Brady and Gronk play one more year. So, we have $40 million in cap space. Mahomes is always there now. I don't really understand it. I think we're fine at corner, even though... I mean, Lattimore would be our best corner, but I, I really do think we're fine. Strong safety, Neil, would be interesting, but I don't think so. JC Jackson, he'd be a little bit cheaper. He's not a scheme fit, which does have me a little concerned. I mean, Levante David, I'll still bring you back. I'm just not giving you, like, a crazy deal. Here's one year, buddy. 75 total points. Lawson's there. Not exactly a scheme fit. Najoku. I mean, we just let OJ Howard walk out the door. That wouldn't really make sense. Corey Davis is interesting, but I don't think so. There's really, like, nothing here. Not many scheme fit, guys. We could take an end and just toss him down there, but I don't really want to do that if I don't have to. So we'll go with David. I really think I am going to go for J.C. Jackson, even though Lattimore doesn't have any offers. You know what? We'll go Lattimore. Why not? We got Levante David. We got Marshawn Lattimore. Let's go to the draft. We have the 30th overall draft choice. I almost want to take a quarterback of this one here. 
I don't think there will be. They probably wouldn't scout them since we have Brady. We do need an outside linebacker. This receiver looks like a beast. Late second, though, so maybe not. There's really nothing here. We don't need a defensive tackle. We don't need a left tackle. I guess a middle linebacker, but early third, I don't think so. Mid third, there is nothing here right now. A strong safety? Sure, why not? Tyler Brackett. He's a 74 overall hidden development. 85 speed, 68 zone, 76 tackle, 80 pursuit. Let's go with right end, Tim Armstrong. I know it says early third, but we're late second. He's a 67 overall normal development. 71 power moves, 66 finesse, 71 speed, 77 acceleration. Heading into the year, we're an 86 overall team, 89 offense, 83 defense. We are going to make Brady and Gronk retire at the end of the year, so we are going to need a quarterback. We still have Cameron Bray at a tight end, but he's not all that great in my opinion. Now on defense, still need an outside linebacker. In my opinion, still need ends. But we're fine at corner. I think Bracken will take over at strong safety. I think we're good to go to the midseason mark. At the midseason mark, we're in third place at three and five. I don't really understand that. Saints five and two, Panthers four and three, and the Falcons two and five. Now Brady's gonna be a free agent. We'll just let him walk away at this point. Vita Vey is gonna come back. Jensen maybe. Davis is coming back. Jones is coming back. Whitehead. I don't know. We just drafted that free safety, so we don't really need him. I imagine we actually have a ton of money, right? Oh, yeah. We didn't make the playoffs with Tom Brady. I find that hard to believe. We went 5-11, tied with the Falcons. Panthers and the Saints, 11-5. Brady, 4,300 yards, 31 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. Jones, 955, 7 touchdowns. Vaughn with 8. Evans, 1,100 yards, 6 touchdowns. Goblin, 1,000 with 7. Miller, 677, 5 touchdowns. Gronk, though, with 8 touchdowns. On defense, Devin White, 101 tackles. Sack total, 7.5 for Vita Vey, 7 for Larson, 4.5 for Barrett. Interceptions, 3 for Lattimore, 2 for David, 2 for Whitehead, 2 for Davis. Where is the free safety I draw? The strong safety I drafted right here. Only 12 tackles. Yikes. Now for yearly awards, Andrew Luck, I assume, will be here at some point. There he is right there. But no Buccaneers, Coach Adair, we wouldn't be up there. Offensive player, Brady, nowhere to be found. Defensive player of the year. Nothing. Offensive rookie, probably nothing. Defensive rookie. Armstrong at four and bracket at ten. Now, let's see what we have for XP before we make Brady and Gronk retire. Barker has two. Worst has one. On defense, what is Brackett's development? He has star development with five XP points. I don't know if we're really going to bring back Whitehead. We'll have to wait and see what he wants for money. Larson has three. Armstrong has four. Devontae, or Devin White, rather, with three. De Levante David's going to be gone, I have to imagine. And then Lattimore has one. The Patriots took down the Saints 28 to 23. I am so going to regret not signing Andrew Luck and then turning him down so he's a 12 overall. Now, Whitehead's up to start of element as well. I think I'll give him a cheap deal. I mean, why not? I think he has a few XP points. He'll be up to like a 78. We'll have some good free safeties. And then everyone else will just let him walk out the door. Now, we are going to have to find a quarterback in either the free agency or the draft. Probably a tight end as well. Kind of wish this was last year when Patrick Mahomes is a free agent. I'd like to bring him in pretty quickly. Orlando Brown, I don't think so. DJ Moore, absolutely. I mean, DJ Moore doesn't have any offers. We could have the greatest receiver group in history, so why not? Is there really not going to be... I mean, we do need another outside linebacker. We could try to bring in Darius Leonard if we wanted to. Okay, so he's 91 total points. What do we have for quarterbacks? I really, really, really don't want Nick Foles. But if we have no other option, I'll give him a one-year deal. If he wants to come play for us, fine. If not, I'm really not too concerned about it. It is just Nick Foles. So let's see if we get these three guys. We got more. We got Leonard. I imagine Nick Foles will come aboard quite quickly. I, I mean, maybe not. Maybe somebody else wants Nick Foles, and I just don't understand it. Yeah, I thought so. We have the second overall draft choice. And you know I have to look back, see if we can trade till next year. We can trade back to 11. So I'm just going to do that regardless. I don't really know what they're going to try to trade up and get right here. A middle linebacker. Doesn't really seem worth it. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's the next Ray Lewis, Bobby Wagner. I don't know. Devin White, Devin Bush. Don't really understand that mindset. But who am I to say? What do we have for quarterbacks? 
There is, eh, maybe. Mid first. I know we drafted Nick Foles, but I feel like we can get that quarterback a little bit later on if there's something else we want to take. We don't want a defensive tackle. Free safety, no. That receiver looks good, but we don't need that. So I guess the right decision is to take that quarterback. We are at pick number 11. Let's go Miles Morrison. Why not? He's a 73 overall hidden development. I might just cut Nick Foles outright. 87 throw power, 80 deep back C, 82 medium, 87 short. In the second round, we're taking left end Jamichael Bates. He's a 72 overall normal development. 65 power moves, 77 finesse, 83 speed, 84 acceleration. Do I cut Nick Foles like I said I was going to do? I guess I want our quarterback Morrison to be starting. So we're an 87 overall team, 91 offense, 84 defense, which seems pretty good. And then on defense, I, I mean, we look pretty good, I would say, with Leonard. We have a good defensive line. Larson's up to star development. Great corners, great safeties. There's really no weak point on this defense other than end and middle linebacker two? What do we have on offense? That we're like a left guard? Okay, not really too concerned about that. A tight end? I think we're good to go. Look at that. At the midseason mark, we're in second place at four and three behind the Saints, who are five and two. Falcons four and three, and the Panthers three and four. Now, we only have one year left after this year. Plus, we have another additional first-round pick from, I believe it was the Eagles. So, Devin White, we're definitely going to bring back. Winfield, Murphy, Bunting, Dean, Miller, maybe not. We'll bring back our punter. Probably not Edwards. We don't really need another free safety at this point. But let's take a look. Uh, we really don't have that much money. It's a little concerning. We won our division at 9-7. and seven. We'll play against the 10-6 and six Bears. Okay. Falcons and Panthers, 8-8, eight and, eight, and the Saints, 7-9. and nine. Miles Morrison, about 4,200 yards, 34 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. So really no drop-off for Brady. Jones, 937, 12 touchdowns, awesome year. Godwin, 1,300 yards, 7 touchdowns, more 868 with 10. Evans, 813, 6 touchdowns, Brate with 5, Jones with 2. On defense, Devin White, 105 tackles. Sack totals, 11.5 for Leonard, 8 for Barrett, 7 for Vita Vey. What do we have for interceptions here? Three for Murphy Bunning, two for Whitehead, White, Edwards, and Lattimore, and then a few ones to go around. Now, what do we have for awards? Justin Herbert with the MVP. No Buccaneers, Coach of the Year. We should be up there, but I guess not. Uh, we want NFC Offensive Player of the Year. Morrison at number six. Defensive Player of the Year, we have Leonard at four. Nothing else. Offensive Rookie Morrison, we knew that was going to happen. Defensive Rookie of the Year. We have Bates at four, Ismael at seven, and then Stanley at nine. Come on, Morrison. Superstar development. Just star, but eight XP points. So we'll take that. Put him up to an 81 overall. Hayes has four right here. Barker has one. Werfs with one. Nothing really else on offense. On defense, Bates has three. Armstrong with one. Larson with one. I mean, nothing really. Can we beat the 10-6 and six Chicago Bears, make it to the divisional round of the playoffs? Nope. We lost 31-21. to 21. I mean, we have a rookie quarterback, so we could kind of write it off as that, but I guess we should see how he performs first, shall we? Let's see. Morrison, 202, two touchdowns, one interception. Not that bad. Mitchell, 312, two touchdowns, one interception. Montgomery with two touchdowns. Gawain, 99 yards. Montgomery with 60. Two touchdowns for Cohen. One for Cameron Braid. And one for Troutman. The Bears beat the Texans 21-14. So apparently their rookie quarterback better than our rookie quarterback. Now I believe we are out of money. Yup. To the draft. We have the seventh overall draft choice from the Eagles. And I'm trying to think what do we really need at this point? Definitely a guard. I know that. So we need a left guard. Right guard's fine. Maybe a tight end, but not too concerned about that. I mean, middle linebacker too? Better ends? I, I, We really don't need much, so I'm going to look for a guard here. I kind of hate drafting for needs all the time, but is there not going to be a guard here? There's some great corners, but we don't need that. Free safeties. There's so many good players in this draft. Let's go with Raheem Biddle. He's a 75 overall hidden development. 88 speed, 88 strength rather, 83 run block, 78 pass block. Now at pick 21, I mean, Topkins, yeah, we're going Topkins. He's a 76 overall hidden development, probably our fifth corner. 
94 speed, 71 man, 77 zone, 72 play rec. Heading into our final year, we're an 86 overall team, 87 offense, 85 defense. I love the offense. I love the defense. There's really nothing I would make better about this team. Our corners are so deep, though. Look at this secondary. It's so good. To the playoffs. And we didn't make the playoffs in our final year. How disappointing. We went 6-10. and 10, Didn't even come close. I don't get that. The Saints won the division at 10-6. and 6. Morrison, 3,800 yards, 35 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Jones, 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns. Vaughn with 8. Receiving Evans, 891, 4 touchdowns. Godwin, 840 with 9. More 586, 8 touchdowns. On defense, Devin White, 109 tackles. Sack totals, 15 for Vita Vey. Nice. 9.5 for Barrett, 7 for Leonard, 6 for Bates. Interceptions, 3 for Murphy Bunting, 2 for Whitehead, 2 for Brackett, 1 for Carlton Davis. I can't imagine we're going to have much up here, right? Barkley with the MVP. No Buccaneers. Coach of the year, we wouldn't be up there. Offensive player, Morrison at 6, which is good to see. Defensive player, I also saw Jordan Love up there. 5 for Vita Vey. You almost never see. Oh, wow. Kinlaw is up there as well. How many defensive tackles? So we have Vita Vey, Aaron Donald, Kinlaw is up there. Wow, okay. Offensive rookie, nothing. Defensive rookie, I mean, nothing. That's not too surprising. Our corner is what, the fifth string? So not too concerned about that. Let's take a look at the XP. Be sad that this team didn't make the playoffs. Riddle has six XP with star development after one year. I mean, come on. We drafted Barker, who's an 86. Biddle is going to be an 80 after one year. Worf's an 88. Morrison's an 84. I mean, there's no excuse. Hopkins has 5 XP. He's giving an 81 overall. I, I just don't really get it. I'm going to give it a one final upgrade, and then we'll see what we have. Like, what do we get up to? Probably, I mean, our quarterback's going up by 2, so at least an 88 overall team. But maybe we got up to, like, oh, it's 87. No, yeah, okay, 88 overall team. 89 offense, 87 defense. But that is going to be it for this video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Come on back for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.